So they're the, the main plugins that we use on that. Um, the next sound that we've got in the mix of it all is, is a kind of feedback synth. Uh, we got that from Omnisphere. Um, do, do any of you use Omnisphere? Yeah, hey. brilliant. <laughs> a wicked Strat Box plugin. Um, with this particular synth, when we were writing it, obviously we bounced this down into the project. Um, but it basically had on the mod wheel a nice harmonic. Um, so we automated that, mated that to do with the tonic F and then obviously a third and then a fifth alternating between the F. And so we'll just play that to you now. Two monolog drums. <clears throat> they can sound a bit sort of. They sound loud in, in the middle, but they can sort of most sound distant to everything else. Now we don't cut too much frequency range out of the kick, really. Um, we just uh, find the perfect place that the kick kind of sits with the sub. And for these particular tracks, 79 hertz is pretty much perfect. So we just done a little lift there, no sort of cuts or anything like that. Uh, but just have a look on the spectrum analysis and uh, make sure that the sub notes don't peak too much around the frequency of that kick or it's going to get muffled and get transients within the track. Mm -hmm. And that's a case of just moving the uh, bottom snare or the second snare you're applying to the first one around until you find a point where it works and sounds like just one sample rather than two snares working all fighting over each other. It's like the realism of an actual snare when it's hit with a stick and it bends and you get the lower end after you get the actual attack so we kind of simulate that within the snares that we put together. That's a good, uh, good question because I mean in something like Crypt Keeper a lot of the bases we applied re reverb to them. Um, obviously with the intros, we love reverb, it gives everything soundscape and everything, some a space and a place. Um, but with basses, if you ever apply a reverb, you've got to make sure that the reverb tail itself isn't uh, given off the low end. So it's just the sort of high end scissors. 